All right, everybody, how you doing? Today we're gonna do a how-to guide. This was, uh, you know what? I think a lot of people follow my channel and already know things about Zippos, but I guess there's a lot of new people who are following my channel and they don't know a lot about Zippos. So I made this video for you guys. It was heavily requested. And uh, we're gonna start off here. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you get a new Zippo is, oh, well, let's see here. This vintage look is brand new. Hinge is going to have a little play, going to be loose. You can see it's never been struck, it's a brand new wick in there, it's never been filled. It's just one I bought for, I think I got it for $8. Uh, I was getting a, I was getting a 1940, okay, well, sorry, this is a beginner's guide, we won't go into that. But anyway, so, I'm going to switch my everyday user to the 1941 replica. I've been using it already, you can see there's wear and tear, <clears throat> but it's not filled. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to take my bag out of this zip one so we can use it. So what I got here are Zippo flints and Zippo wick. I just wanted to show what they look like. I'm not going to be using them in this video. So you're going to want to fill up your Zippo, right? And then, so you have your flywheel here that hits the sparker, camshaft, chimney. Now, you notice the proper way to use this to light your cigarette, if you're using it to light your cigarette, let's just pretend this Q-tip's cigarette, when the flame's on, when you strike her and the flame goes on, you got to stick your cigarette in that chimney just like that. It'll go right on the wick and you'll light it because up here, the wind is blowing it around, but it's windproof in this chimney. So you got to put your cigarette in there, it'll light it off the wick. That's, how, that's the proper way to do it. You can do it from any angle, off the flywheel, whichever way you hold your zip on. Okay? So what, how I fill mine is I take it. Now what you got here, this will, we'll go through this. This is a Zippo fuel canister. It comes with a place to hold your flint and a little thing for screwing and opening uh, fluid bottles. I'll show you how it works. I love this thing, saves me all the time. Great little canister, I highly recommend getting one. So this hole right here is not to fill in. That hole is to hold an extra flint in your Zippo. And then so what I do is I grab it, I hold it up like this, and then I take my take my tool and I get the I get the lip off. Now, see how old and rusty this bottle is? I've had this bottle of Zippo fluid for a year. Okay, because with my bag trick, I'm gonna show you on here too. With my bag trick, the Zippo fluid lasts you a long time. I've had this for a long time. This is what I use. So how I like to do it is I like to do a quick seven seconds, maybe not a full seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now I let that sit for another seven seconds, say, just to let it uh, swell up in there and everything like that. It makes room for more fluid to go in. And then I'll give it another shot. And I'll just do it for a few more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, say. All right. And that's how I do that section. Then you close your lid on your Zippo can, because you don't want it to catch fire when you put this back in. Then, what I do is I take the bag, I put it over the insert, I fold it, right? I put it back in. Now that bag will stop fluid from evaporating out the bottom and out the thing. Fluid will still evaporate out the wick and the chimney there. That's what the lid's for. And no lid's a perfect seal, as you can see mine's been bend forward and things like that so you're going to lose fluid no matter what but that will help save your fluid and that will help make it last a little bit longer so there it lights <clears throat> but a problem you're going to have when you use your zippo for uh four or five months you might notice the flames not as big anymore your wick you just got to pull it up a little bit and then when it comes up to the top just trim that off just a little bit happen uh maybe a centimeter three quarters of a centimeter, not too much. Just pull it up as much as you need. And then anything that comes over the top, go in there and trim it a little bit. You don't want it to come basically to that hole. That hole's a guideline where you want your wick to end, kind of. All right, and then there's a popular video out there I want to discuss. Now, it's it gets a lot of views and I don't want to throw it under the bus or anything, but it's a how-to thing. And what you guys got to do is when you're storing your flints away, 
I mean, when you're storing your Zippos away for a long period of time, like say I'm going to store this one away for a long period of time, never going to use it. It's my collectible Zippo. So I haven't done it yet because mine aren't that old yet. But And when I run out of flints, I just steal them from these ones. The flint will go rock solid in there, and you'll have to drill it out. If you, if you leave a flint in there for a very long period of time. So, I'm going to take this armored Zippo here and show you guys. Because I put the bag on mine, so I don't want to take it off. But so, in this popular video, he says, if you're storing a Zippo for a long time, everyone knows now, okay, you got to take the flint out, right? If you're storing the Zippo away for a long time, you got to take the flint out. And that's another reason why I love this little canister. I suggest you all get one. Okay, there, there's a flint in the thing. I'm gonna put it down. Okay, he said you take this spring, and this is a popular video, it's got hundreds of thousands of views. Okay, this guy does has no idea what he's talking about. He said take this, fold it up, and put it under this felt like this. Do you have any clue what happens to a spring if you do that to it and leave it like that for a very long period of time? Do not do what this guy says. I'm sure you guys probably came across this video because it comes up at the top. Like, that's insane. That is not what you do, okay? You just put it back in there and keep it under pressure against the flywheel and everything's going to be fine. Do not listen to that guy. I'm not going to say his name or throw him under the bus because I really don't care that much. But if you come across his videos, and I'm sure you have, do not do what he says. So, that's how you fill your Zippo and things like that. <clears throat> and, guys... If you have a very nice Zippo that you don't want ruined, don't use it as your everyday user. Buy another one that you can just beat around. Like I got this Armor, Armor High Polish Brass. Love the Zippo, beat it around. But I changed my everyday user between that and the 41 replica because I don't know, I just love these replicas. They're just cool, they're old, uh, they're different. Flat stock on the sides, I like that. Four barrel hinge, hole in the center. I highly recommend the 41 replicas, guys. They're one of my favorite Zippos. <clears throat> and uh, you probably didn't see, but that 41 replica, it doesn't have this dimple on it, okay? That dimple pushes your case open a little wider and flute escapes just a little more. So my bag trick helps with that and keeps the and it keeps it all t uh, sealed tight there. And the 41 replica, though, it's completely flat, so you don't have to worry about that. I like the 41 replicas for that reason. Now, you're, okay, so now you're, you know how to use your Zippo, you know how to store your Zippo, you know how to fill your Zippo, but... Another thing is you want to know more about Zippos, right? Well, you have your armored Zippo, right? See, it's in the armored case here. It is one and a half, the case is one and a half times thicker than a regular Zippo, okay? And they just feel a little heavier. They sound different. They're very heavy, very nice Zippo. I prefer them. I always use an armor as my everyday carry, usually if I'm not using the replica, which I'm switching to, all right? And then you have... Your older Zippos that you're all going to want these Zippos. You're going to want your armor Zippos. You're going to want your, your 41 replicas. Every version you can get. And then you're going to have your high-end luxury Zippos. This is a solid armor sterling silver video. I mean Zippo. I have a video on it if you want to go check it out. Got uh, 18,000 views. It's a very nice Zippo if you want to know more about it. And then you're going to have your vintage look. This Normally this would have slashes. But I got the one without slashes because I didn't really care for the slashes. And then you're going to have your actually old Zippos. This is like a 1963 Niagara Falls Zippo, highly collectible. This is the box it came in. Very cool old Zippo. It was my grandfather's. And the guarantee is still back there. And they actually fixed it for me. The hinge was broken off. Zippo does very nice jobs. And if you guys need anything, you email Zippo. They're very friendly. They're very customer oriented. Very good to deal with. And now, a lot of people say, oh, the rayon cotton, this is what an insert looks like with nothing in it, right? This was one I made a video of as a Frankenstein insert. I took two different inserts and used parts and made one good one. But uh, they're going to tell you, oh, the cotton in there lasts for years. You don't got to worry about it. Well, you know what? You're going to notice the first two months of your Zippo is going to, it's going to be working good. It's going to be lasting good. And you're going to get a long time out of it. But then after a few months go by, the Zippo fluid eats away at the cotton, the rayon cotton in there. What I like to do is I like to get my inserts for free every four or five months from Zippo themselves. I change my inserts a lot, guys. You just send your Zippo in. They send your brand new insert with it. 
That's all you need to do. And uh, always use Zippo fluid. I find it's better. I'm going to have a video on Ronson and uh, Zippo fluid because a lot of people have been asking about that and commenting. So I do have an older video, but I have some new facts I want to bring to light on it. So I'm going to make a new video about that. Keep uh, tuned for it. And uh, guys, that's my beginner's how-to guide for Zippos. I hope that helps. And everybody stay tuned. Take care. Subscribe. Have a good one.